So I grew up in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, went to a smaller high school. Uh, I was a, a one star coming out of Mechanicsburg, and you know, wasn't a big name guy, undersized. Still am undersized, uh, but really just you know my work ethic and um, my motor that just doesn't stop is what allowed me to play at the next level. I was granted a sixth and seventh year from the NCAA, which is pretty unreal, I thought, and. Uh, I just thought it was time to move on from Taos and see if I could start a somewhat of a new career, I guess you could say. Um, and thankfully, Coach Whip and the the other coaching staff gave me an, another opportunity to play up here at UMass. When we met him, he was, he was uh, just a, a really, really good kid, and uh, you know. I've done this a long time now, and sometimes, you know, you listen to what the players, a lot of times we'll listen to what the players have to say, and those two guys, Adam and, and Andrew, are pretty good players, and good judge of character, and, uh, you know, they were right, so uh, it's, it's, he's really helped us. During the spring, one of the things we said, the most important recruit we get is to have Brighton Bar return, and, you know, he had an option not to return, and, uh, you know, I can't stress how important he is to our team. Just the, the physicality that he brings to the game, the leadership, the way he does things the right way uh, is really, really impressive. You know, we use that expression, what kind of team would we be if everybody was like me? And if everybody was like Brighton Barr, we, we'd be pretty exceptional. Brighton just loves the game. He loves the practice. You know, there's a lot of guys like the game. They don't like to practice, but he brings a... Uh, you know, a, a special energy on practice days. You got to be strong up the middle. Um, you know, we're faster all the way around on defense, and uh, um, you know those guys really believe in him and, and the entire program, the coach, staff, and the players, and uh, everybody that's seen him play. You know, is ex excited for what his senior season is going to bring. I played middle linebacker in high school. Uh, that's where I felt comfortable playing. And when I when they moved me to middle linebacker up here, I was just like, you know, I feel at home, I feel comfortable, and you know, I was fortunate enough to you know start against Hawaii and had a pretty good uh, opening game, and just kind of trickled down for the rest of the season. When Coach Ripple offered me that that scholarship to come up here and play with, you know, two great friends uh, that I've known since high school, and I knew that I'd be living with them too. It was just kind of we had talked about it. You know, kind of jokingly, back in high school, you know, like, what if we all played together at the same school? And it ended up happening, and uh, it's kind of funny looking back. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, I'm just very thankful for the opportunity and, you know, still thankful because I am finally playing my last year of college football seven years later and never thought I'd be here right now, but just very thankful.